Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to our channel. Today we are exploring Mystic, Connecticut. So Mystic is actually a village in the towns of Groton and Stonington, Connecticut. It was founded in 1654 and was a prominent shipbuilding center and seaport in its day. There have been over 600 ships built here over the course of 135 years beginning in 1784. Mystic is also home to two of Connecticut's most popular attractions, the Mystic Aquarium and the Mystic Seaport Museum. Today we're going to check those out plus a bunch more, but first things first, let's go grab some breakfast. I read some good reviews of a small breakfast, lunch, and bakery spot called Blue Squid and decided to give it a try. It was a cute and small one-room restaurant in Old Mystic Village. They had some cute decorations up for Valentine's Day, which I loved. I got their veggie skillet and it was super yummy. I definitely recommend this stop, though I would imagine it fills up pretty quickly on weekends and during the busy tourist season. After breakfast, I wandered around Old Mystic Village, the area where the Blue Squid is located. It's a fun and unique shopping center built in the 70s in the style of a 1720s colonial village. It's home to one-of-a-kind stores, restaurants, coffee shops, and more. I think my favorite finds in Old Mystic Village were Alice in the Village, a whimsical Alice in Wonderland-inspired tea house, and the similarly inspired Alice's Little Haunted Bookshop. These felt like places I would find at Disney. They were incredibly creative and detailed and so much fun to explore. After I finished strolling through the village, it was off to our next stop. We have now made it to the first of Connecticut's two most popular attractions, the Mystic Aquarium. This aquarium is home to New England's only beluga whales and is also one of only two U.S. aquariums holding stellar sea lions. Super excited to check out everything this aquarium has to offer, so let's go inside. Mystic Aquarium is extensive with a variety of exhibits. Aside from the beluga whales and stellar sea lions, they also have African penguins, sea turtles, thousands of unique fish, a touch pool with stingrays and sharks, jellyfish, and so much more. Their entry fee is a bit steep at around $35 a person, but between the amount of animals and exhibits there are and supporting the work they do in sea life conservation and education, I would say it was worth it. After spending a few hours here, it was time to head to the Seaport Museum. So I just came over to the Mystic Seaport Museum and sadly it is closed today. It looks like they're only open Thursday through Sunday and I'm also here in February and their village and some other parts of the museum are closed until March. So that's a huge bummer. I was really excited to check this place out. Mystic Seaport is actually the nation's largest maritime museum and it also houses the C.W. Morgan which is the last wooden whaling ship in existence in the world today. So would have been super awesome to see that. 
In addition to the C.W. Morgan ship, there's also a ton of exhibits, and the part I was most excited to see was the recreation of a 19th century seaport village. Fun fact about that, they actually brought real shops and businesses from the 1800s that were across New England and brought them here to create this village, which you can walk through and check out. So again, so bummed I can't check it out today, but if you've been to the Seaport Museum before here in Mystic, please let me know in the comments below how it was, what your favorite parts were, and if it's worth a return visit to go check out for myself. Since that's closed, it's time to head off to another Mystic staple, and that is the infamous Mystic Pizza. Let's go. If you haven't seen it, Mystic Pizza is the 1988 rom-com that launched Julia Roberts' career and was the film where Matt Damon began his. It was inspired by this exact real-life pizza parlor, so I had to stop by and grab a slice before heading over to Fort Trumbull State Park in New London for a walk before sunset. This fort was originally built to protect the area from British attack. The version that stands today is the third that was built between 1839 and 1852. It was a great place to soak in some coastal views as the day came to a close. Thanks for exploring Mystic with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more adventures to come. Until next time!